That's a weird looking Ferrari, must be a, a new model. I've ordered two cups of drink and it's 45 minutes wait. Hello, this is Jill, and this is Dason, and that's Carter, and we are Wong family. So we are in Hong Kong and we're going to head to the peak. So in terms of pedestrian walkways, I would say Hong Kong is probably the worst so far out of Japan, Australia and Taiwan. So we're in the middle of the city and there's just stairs everywhere. Even this paved road here, every now and then there's just steps. So we basically have to fold the stroller and just carry it. This footpath is barely wide enough for one person and now there's a person and a dog coming. We made it! The big tram! This looks really different. Before it just used to be rows and rows of lines, now it's got like a full-on LED screen. Oh, and then doors open to an escalator. So at the end of the escalator is the actual station. It looks like they've like moved it up higher or something. like they've completely renovated it, like it's a brand new tram, the station is brand new, very interesting. This hasn't changed. As soon as you get off the uh, tram, we're greeted with souvenir shops. It looks exactly the same. Okay, we just ate at the Hong Kong Day Cafe, which is just at the entrance, or the exit of the tram actually. Uh, it was pretty good. I got a satay beef set. Uh, it's got like an instant noodle with satay beef, plus like a toast with some scrambled eggs. And we also got a brown sugar pearl milk tea, which was all right, it was very sweet, but the pearls are a bit too squishy. All right, we're gonna go to the Madame Two Swords here at the top of the peak. Uh, I think it's pretty small, but we're gonna go check it out. Freaky. They're a little bit too real. And then Carter's a little bit freaked out. Like Brad Pitt!
this matters two swords, although it looks small on the outside, it seems to be bigger than the one in Sydney. Okay, so that was Madame Two Swords in Hong Kong. Uh, it's a lot bigger than what it looks like from the outside. Uh, I would recommend you go take a look if you haven't been before. All right, we made it. We are at the peak. So is it worth coming up? Uh, not during the day, because you can't see anything anyway, because <laughs> it's so polluted. But maybe at night time. I think night time with light looks better. So that's it for the peak. We're gonna head back down. And how was the peak, baby? Did you enjoy it? I think you like the Man of Two Swords to death. So we've come back down from the peak. Uh, we've actually been to Hong Kong many times before, so we won't be doing any touristy stuff. I think we're just gonna go walk around and try some restaurants that we haven't tried before. So just like in Japan, anything with a line in front of it, or any restaurant with a line in front of it, is good. We kind of don't want to wait because we have a baby. Yeah. So uh, that's why we keep running into restaurants that are not particularly good in Japan, at least. And the other problem with traveling with a baby to an Asian country like Japan and Hong Kong is that the uh, restaurants are tiny. So there's no way you can fit a stroller inside the restaurant. Hey, Hi, bye bye. Alright, so we're at this restaurant, La Fong Yun. It was recommended to us by our Instagram friend. Ordering is scary. You have to run in there and basically shout the lady and then she'll take your order for you. But uh, we ordered two things uh, and trucks basically drive right in front of the restaurant making standing on the road is scary. Don't even talk about ordering, just standing is scary. Well, there's no way in hell we're going to fit in there, so what do you do? We get takeaway! All right, we'll walk past this grass jelly dessert shop on the way back to the hotel. We're gonna go on to try. That was really quick. All right, we've made it back to the hotel with our takeaway. We have a barbecue pork with egg rice and a chicken with instant noodles and two cold milk teas. We also have a uh, toast as well. I want to try the toast first because it's the easiest to eat. I'm not sure if we ordered the right toast because this is just toast with butter. Uh, but for just being toast with butter, it's pretty damn good. So it's like a thick cut toast that's slightly crunchy on the outside and they put a lot of butter so when you bite into it, it kind of just oozes out. So I think they're both pretty good. Uh, it's not gonna blow your mind. It's not like amazing, but it's pretty good for being cheap and quick. Uh, so if you're out for a quick lunch, this is what I would get. Uh, the milk tea is all right. Um, I like it because it's not very sweet, but the best thing actually was the toast with butter. It's possible that we didn't order their best thing because we kind of just walked past and grabbed order whatever we saw first. So the grass jelly place was all right. There was no line in front of it, so I was expecting it to be very bad, but it's, yeah, it's pretty good. The grass jelly itself is not sweet, so it kind of relies on the, the red bean and the other toppings to give it its sweetness, but overall, yeah, I would, I would get it again. So we are actually at a new shopping mall, K11 
Nuzia, I think that's how you pronounce it. There's two K11s. I'm actually going to new one. The old one, Art Mall, is much smaller. Uh, and we saw this milk tea shop, so we're going to go try it. Look at this line. It's for this milk tea shop. Tsuha San Tian, ET3000. Anything with a line is supposed to be good. So we lined up for this tea shop. So after lining up and making your order, you have to wait 45 minutes for your actual drink. So since we have to wait 45 minutes for the drink, we decided to walk around the mall. So on level 6, there's a sculpture garden. And uh, there's three sculptures here. And then on level 7, there's a pet garden. You can bring your dog here. Okay, let's go check on our drink. tea with fresh milk like tastes really good although they only have one sugar level to choose from either full sugar or less sugar but it's perfect sweetness and you can also taste the milk and the tea so was it worth the 45 minute wait yes all right i think we're gonna head back to our hotel 